My name is Alois Roof and my wife, Estonia Roof, and we are proud to present today the Roof Rodeo. This is our new concept car this year. This was supposed to be shown in Geneva. It is the brainchild of my wife, Estonia. Could you please say a few words about it? The inspiration has been friends, years living in Oklahoma and Kansas, and the love of the off-road cars. Yes, and I met my wife in Oklahoma City. So I was introduced uh, to Western style and country style and uh, making an off-road version of one of our cars I thought would be a, another destination that we should reach with four-wheel drive. It's Roof's first four-wheel drive version on the new chassis of the new CTR that we showed three years ago in Geneva. We presented the new line of roof cars and every year we're showing something new based on the monocoque carbon chassis uh, with the steel frame front and rear and roll cage integrated, also made in lightweight steel. So uh, when you look at the details, you see uh, we uh, gave it a very special look here with uh, roof rack here with some luggage. Of course, some of it probably in the driving will not be uh, of use, but it can be used as a traveling car. So if you want to go from coast to coast, or if you want to do the rally around the world, it's doable in this car. The looks of the car, we gave it some uh, golden color here, uh, which is also like the golden sand, if you want to say so. And we brought back from the reminiscent uh, car, the NATO car, the roof NATO car from the 1980s, which was quite famous. Uh, and it was our test mule and experimental car. And this is where the, the NATO olive drab olive color came from. So we mixed that, brought back some extra lights. So we are good for the, uh, the very dark areas uh, to be driving on, uh, with safety and um, as you can see also, we have even a shovel there for the worst case scenario. And the interior of the car is something that Estonia will explain to you. Well, since we gave the car, gave the, car the name Rodeo, we wanted to bring some elements, some kind of a chapped leather with the saddle side packets on the car, giving the feeling of the Southwest and Navajo. Indian feel and yeah we were having fun making this car this is supposed to put a smile in your face when you look at it nothing is really foreign about the car it's just there are bits and pieces that you're familiar with when you sit in the cockpit well from the technical side uh, we are running it with a 500 horsepower torquey normal aspirated engine but it can also be had with a turbo version, so either or. And uh, it has a, a six-speed gearbox for uh, four-wheel drive, and it has a, a control where you can adjust how much uh, front-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive you want to have. And uh, you can just turn by the knob. You can uh, go flawlessly into a different mode. So from gold, we are going to another color. Let's wonder what it could be. <laughs> we will see. Oh, it's so green, it looks like roof green. <laughs> and it's the same color that the car was two years ago as a concept car at that time. And now it is the production version of the SCR. And it also shares the same color of the very first roof SCR in 1978. This is the normal aspirated engine version car based on the chassis of the new roof generation, based on the carbon fiber chassis, very rigid monocoque system with a front end and rear end in lightweight steel. The rollover cage is integrated into the chassis and is very well kept in obtrusive between the A 
B and C pillars, all covered in leather or Alcantara. It is a suspension like a race car suspension that you know from Le Mans cars and uh, DTM cars with double wishbones in the front and in the rear with uh, horizontal shock absorber uh, spring packages that are uh, activated by push rods and um, rocker arms. Well, the silhouette uh, of the SCR is enhanced with the uh, ducktail type of a rear spoiler to break the airflow, to give it a better downforce. And um, another specialty is that our cars come with a full carbon seat, a bucket seat that is made in carbon, the base. And the pedals are in titanium. That is also something new. And as well as our lighting system, which is uh, an LED, new developed, newly developed lighting system, even with the uh, very, very fine third brake light that is integrated into the silhouette of the top of the roof. And uh, we call it internally the spaghettini because it's so small. It is a normal aspirated version of an engine with 510 horsepower and four liters of displacement. And here is the engine. And it sure gives you a little bit of the emotional appearance of the times, the good old times of air-cooled engines. Although it is water-cooled and uh, it is uh, combined with a six-speed manual gearbox. Now we go to the... the CTR. Uh, this is our CTR anniversary. This is uh, one of the production cars. Uh, this car was supposed to be delivered in Geneva this year, just like uh, the first production car that went out last year at the Geneva show and handed to the customer. And um, it is in the classic color like we presented our first car. The seats are the new lightweight seats, the latest development from Recaro. Uh, 